Dude, I can't stop having dreams about this fucking game. I, I had a dream that I fucking, that I was on reserve. And I was playing, and then I killed a guy, and I eluded him, and there was a guy coming, and I had to run, and I had three minutes left, and then I, I, I evacuated from fucking um, heating pipe. And I'm just like, I woke up, I'm like, why? But literally, why? Like, I don't understand why. I had a dream where I was in some kind of a, a space station, and me and the remains of humanity were reliving the creation of a super AI and the end of the all fuck? humanity over and over again. That sounds dope. <laughs> that actually sounds like a, a really cool sci-fi like TV show. <laughs> yeah, like a bunch of people on a fucking... Wait, wait, so you're reliving the what? The creation of the AI? What would happen is... It's hard to explain. Like, I know we were in space. I know we were effectively on some kind of a space station or an arc. I'm quite sure that it was spherical. And it I don't was... think I've ever had a dream in space. <laughs> I've had some. Yeah. But, and Must be nice. it was me and these people who I do not know just existing, just living on this place. And we kind of just. It had this, like. The beginning of the computer era feel, where it's just like me and these goons wearing some shirts and some shorts. We were fucking just grabbing circuit boards and various kinds of tech and essentially just assembling um, uh, like advanced technology. And as far as like, like we were, we were trying to make uh, an AI to help us with shit because it's like, wow, all of human, all that's left of humanity is on this one orb. Where this one small area <laughs> situation's fucked, maybe we get the super AI, get this shit figured sorted out, and then as the super AI becomes uh, more intelligent and more sentient, and starts to actually speak, it essentially it, the it essentially says like, "Yeah, your shit is fucked. Like, I don't know what to do." Um, and <gasps> and. You know what? Literally what do? Humanity? Not that great. And then we just... <laughs> we, It's so hard to describe a dream, but we... Yeah, we just kind of kept on, and the AI... The AI did this thing where it's like the process of trying to save humanity that it did effectively destroyed humanity. The remaining like humanity. Like a fucking Marvel movie. And then somehow... It only... In the dream... It only happened once, but I know for a fact that this was a cyclical situation where it's like, somehow, we're gonna, the remains of humanity is gonna be on the ship again, and build this AI again, and die again. It's kinda cool, actually. <laughs> I don't understand. It's a little bit like Soma, though. You know the game? No. Oh, the other one was some weird shit where I was like in... Some kind of alternate world. It was almost like I got transported to a, a game world or something. Like, it looked like a real world, but the logic of it was that of a game world. I don't fucking know. All I know is that there was, like, a butcher shop in the basement that was, like, connected through tubes and shit, and people were dying... And I was trying to figure out where these goons went, and I had this dog that I would command to be, I'd be like, "Dog, you, you doing the sniffing? You're gonna figure out where these people." Hmm. You doing the sniffing? You've got to figure out where these people no. escaped. Like I was, I was with people, but then the people were gone, and I was like, "Oh shit, I gotta find these people. They're in trouble." And uh, this, this dog is the only one I had to like find them. It's like you can figure out where they are with your nose, and then I kept, kept trying to command them to like. Not go off too far and kind of stay close. <laughs> While holding this other smaller dog that is useless. <laughs> <laughs> don't call him the other smaller dog. And then eventually I did lose sight of the dog. I don't know where the dog went, but I was in this chute. I was in this secret chute in the wall that's meant for to put people into. And it just, it's a, it just, it's a conveyor belt that leads to fucking a meat meat grinder shit and it's like this is not okay <laughs> it felt like an indie horror game is what it was 